Let's go! Camper van! It's Bank Holiday Friday! And guess what? There's a traffic jam. What a surprise. We are heading north, north, north on the M6, heading north to Scotland. Fingers crossed we actually get there. Um, and we do have Molly with us. She's asleep. Still stuck in traffic. <clears throat> um, we might need a plan B. No, it doesn't look like we're going to get to our destination this evening, which is a shame because Caroline has agreed to wild camp or camp off grid tonight. Yes, it's not my fault if it doesn't happen, <laughs> is it? You know, I, I offered so. And I don't think we're going to be able to make to where I was trying to get to, so I may have to just try and find a campsite somewhere because the traffic forecast is uh, is very poor. Um, we won't be getting anywhere like this side of midnight. No, <laughs> or so definitely not in daylight. We're probably going to have to stay somewhere tonight, closer, and then continue the rest of the journey tomorrow on our way up to Scotland. So, stay tuned. This could be interesting. So we decided to carry on. Uh, the traffic cleared a bit. Uh, we thought we'd just soldier on. We've been in for about four and a half hours. No, something like that. We're just yeah, yeah we're just turning off the, the motorway now. Uh, there's a sign in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, because we're coming up. Welcome to Scotland. Um, so that's where we're going and uh, yeah. Hopefully we can find somewhere tonight to park up and uh, Caroline can sample wild camping in Scotland. <coughs> Otherwise Ian will be driving around all night and I'll be sleeping in the chair. Uh, yes, wild camping, camping off grid I call it, it's not it's not proper wild camping, but it's good enough for Caroline, so I'll take what I can get. <laughs> With a bit of, bit of traffic trouble again up ahead, I don't know if you can see, there's a couple of, couple of hold ups. <laughs> To round them up. Round up the sheep. Come on, Mal, let's round them up. That's it, off you go. Off you go, thanks very much. Very good, good job. So we think we found our stopover for the night. Uh, we're not 100% sure because we drove past it. <laughs> and we had the obviously wrong address in the nav. So I never use the nav. Always pay attention. Yeah. The, uh, learning. Still pay attention. Is there? Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure. So. Chevy parking. We're staying overnight. Hopefully, in a hotel. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Caroline's done the chocks. <laughs> How's the temperature? Freezing. Look at that. It's got its own picnic area. That's great, isn't it? Picnic area, Mol. Breakfast al fresco. So, what do we do? Stay the night. Self contained between 6 pm and 10 am. He can only stay one night. And basically, six motorhomes in this area. Find a space, four meters apart, seven pounds. And he can do it from a Ringo. See below. Which we'll do online. Dead simple. Got 4G signal here as well. It's good, isn't it? There's the vans down the bottom. Space for six. Although it's very uneven. You'd have to use chocks, which you're allowed to do here. Um, but we've made sure there's four metres apart. And try not to block the other van's view. They were here before us. <laughs> okay, let's do this on the Ringo app. So I don't know if you can see, but there's another site just up there. That's the upper site. There's three spaces for vans up there. This is the lower site, which has got six spaces. So we're going to go back in and make some tea and have a chill. So, this is Brave Caroline. Where are we? <laughs> we are at Lower Cheviot Forestry and Land Scotland. Yes, very good. Park and we've for brought, night. Yeah, we brought our guard dog with us down there. She's had a little sleep. She's had a tea. She's most happy now. That's it. She's had a sleep. She's done a business. She's had a little walk outside. That's it. She's good for the night. We did plan to get here much earlier, obviously, and have a wander around and explore, but we um, we got delayed on the motorway, as you can see. But we thought we'd carry on and well worth it. So yeah, it's really peaceful. There's no, there's people next to us. One more van here. There's a couple of vans at the other side. The other side's just a few minutes away, isn't it? Yeah, you can see it up on the top there. Yeah. Um, so the six spaces down here and then three up at the top, but that one looks, we think we can see three vans up there anyway, so this is definitely the quieter one. Yeah, so let's stay here. And then, yeah, tomorrow we're moving to a proper campsite, but this is Caroline's. We wanted this for ages. We weren't supposed to come here, and I'll explain where we we're going to go um, tomorrow, but we had an idea and a plan, um, but didn't quite go to plan, but never mind. So most of our plans never go to plan, that's <laughs> why we don't make plans. That's a good thing with a camp van though, no, it's completely self-contained, it's only like for self-contained isn't it here? Yes, no camping, uh, like tent camping or, because yeah. there's no facilities, there's not even anywhere to put your rubbish, so no. we take everything with you. And we're on a proper slant, even with the chocks, so we're going to sleep downstairs tonight. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm slightly worried that we're either going to fall off the chocks, because you've seen my excellent chock <laughs> putting under, um, and I think a lower centre of gravity will stop us falling over. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works in my head anyway. Yeah. So we're just going to have something to eat. It's a little late. It's at nine o'clock already. So we're just have something to eat and then have a little read or something. Yeah, yeah quiet we'll reading tonight. So no power. So we've got to conserve the battery because obviously we've only got one small leisure battery. Well done. I'm I've impressed. paid attention to the it videos, is, you know. It is fully charged. So we should be fine overnight. And then we've got solar for in the morning. Yeah, I know you won't let me watch telly. <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh, rain. Good morning, Molly. Good morning. Can you go outside? <laughs> Good morning. You sleep okay? <laughs> Good. Nice, one. Welcome to British August. It's eight degrees. <laughs> nice and chilly. So Molly and I have just driven... <laughs> I can't speak. Um, we've forgotten milk, so we've got no tea, hence why I can't speak properly. <laughs> so yeah, we just walked up the road. Caroline's just getting ready, and we're just going to have a little explore before we head off. Um, so this is Upper Cheviot, and they've got three van spaces up here. So we're going to try and find where they're parked, and see what that's like. And then just down the road, you can see, there just on the right is where the entrance to Lower Cheviot is. Right, well, this way. So similar to the other one, you've just got a board. Each different location has a different number for Ringo on the app. You put the number in and it automatically lets you pay for the parking in the correct place you're at. And there's two vans up here. Hi, my free. And an A-class. And there's space for another one there. It looks more flatter up here, although they've got blocks under this. And there's two picnic benches. It's very civilised. Very much like Europe, this, uh, this camping, apart from the, um, the weather. We were in Germany, it was 34 degrees. Now we're in Scotland, it's 8 degrees. Past 
still prefer the scenery here and the weather don't tell Caroline. <laughs> and if you can see our valley's just down there. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning. We don't formally greet each other like that <laughs> all the time, it's just for the camera, right? Washo, good morning. <laughs> Molly's being fastened in. I'm just going to remove the chocks. because it's raining, so looks like I'm going to get that job. Oh, I thought I was getting it, to be fair. <laughs> so kindly volunteered. All right, I'll back it off, put the chocks away, and then we can go and find some breakfast for us. You've had yours, haven't you? <laughs> Not I might find you a bit of sausage or something. No offence. Mm. Right, we're leaving this uh, excellent parking spot for the night, just after nine o'clock. Uh, the bands are all still here. Everyone's having a lie-in because it's raining. And we're heading to Jedburgh. Uh, we are booked on a campsite for the next couple of nights. Uh, we'll show you where we're going, yeah, probably in the next video. Um, so we're going to first of all go and explore the border towns of, say, Jedburgh and Hoik. Hoik and somewhere else as well so and then we'll share with you where we're going but very nice here it's extremely quiet last night wasn't it very quiet yeah like literally you couldn't hear anything it was lovely and the sky you last night at the stars was it? yeah it's really Ooh. yeah really dark sky you can see all the stars so yeah really good owls hooting and um, the only sound i could hear when i took molly out last night and then she got up at quarter past five this morning ah Sorry about that, excellent. Like, Alright, yeah, you didn't you didn't even notice. Okay, you're away. Oh good. Um, and it was daylight, it was quite light. Well not literally about as light as it is now. It's like quarter past five this morning, but and again, was... she she could hear something in the bushes, so uh, <laughs> she was stood staring for a couple of minutes, but other than that, not a sound. And only south on the wrong side of the road then. <laughs> Oops. I have it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit chillier than the last adventure. Yeah, it's up to 11 degrees now, we're alright, oh, it's good. Oh, it's <laughs> Got our jumpers on, and the, uh, the heating's on in the van. <laughs> Caroline's told me something new. Pay attention, mate. Maximum say 60 hours. 60 hours? 60, yeah. So we arrived in Jedburgh, where we can see over there, I think the Abbey to the left, just there the windscreen so we've just stopped there's a coffee shop you can't see because the windows all steamed up through there all rainy can i just find the menu online good work we're too lazy to just walk over there and read yeah. it <laughs> but it's raining so we're sat here and it looks like they do a full breakfast so it looks like that's going to be to this morning's uh choice uh there is a co-op but we're going to go and get ourselves some milk and cook some some crumpets but this is a full scottish breakfast just over there it'd be rude not to wouldn't it it would i'll <laughs> i'll take the tea and crumpets then <laughs> <laughs> when on holiday, eat like the locals, that's what I say. Perfect space for the Adventure 65. With the grass overhang, it fits in the spaces perfectly. Oh, very good. I wonder if you can stay overnight here. I'll have to have a look. This would have been a good stop as well. I wonder if you can stay overnight here. It's 60 hours, didn't it? Yeah, have to look and see if you can see. Say you couldn't. So it usually says it was no overnights. Mm. But it looks like there's a van that stayed overnight. What a great little location. Yeah. Jedburgh. Molly's going to stay in the van, we one day over here. Right, breakfast. Feed me. Decent flat white as well. A decent flat white. This is great. A little cafe. Pizza menu. Coffee. In the rain, a little rain shelter. Right, look at the view behind you, look, turn around. It's the Abbey. Yeah, Beautiful, isn't it? Taking a picture of you, <laughs> and then the van's parked just over there. Look, van's parked just over there. So we're going to get breakfast. I've ordered a full XL big breakfast, and Caroline's going for a loaded sourdough topper. We'll show you in a second. All right, very excited. Back, so I'm going to try 
Let's see which one's which. That must be Caroline's. It's full of vegetables. That wasn't quite as exciting as I was hoping for. Let's go for this one. Yes, now we're talking. Now we're talking. So, oh my it's uh, beans, mushrooms, sourdough, fried eggs, Scottish sausages from the butchers, bacon, black pudding, haggis, tomato. Just so you can see it. Just so you can see in all its glory, there you go. You can see, well, this is great. They obviously used to cater him for a camper van or some motorhomers. What have you got, sorry? Um, it's turmeric sourdough um, with smashed avocado, scrambled mm. eggs and tomatoes. Ah, very nice. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Yeah, really good. Um, benefit of having the camper van, obviously, you can take away. Because uh, they've got a cafe, but we didn't want to take Molly inside. So we've come back to the van to eat it, which is what the van's designed for. <clears throat> salt and pepper. Okay, stop raining, had breakfast, should we go for a walk? Come on then, let's go. So, it's stopped raining, we're in Jedburgh, we've had a very delicious breakfast, I must say. It wasn't cheap, it was £10.50, but that's the same price as a cafe inside, but it was really good. Was it called? Yeah. Uh, Oops, can't see. Abbey Bridge, Coffee Abbey House Abbey Bridge, Coffee House, yeah. And the car park's free, Caroline's said for 60 hours, I think we said that about six times. But yeah, so we are now going to explore Jedburgh, which looks very beautiful, so mm. the rain stopped. And did you breakfast. know this car park is free for 60 hours? <laughs> Not funny. Abby looks impressive, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's £4.50 for adults to get in, which includes the donation or three, I think £3.80 from without or something like that. So we've got time to have a look on that. It looks beautiful. I think dogs are allowed in. There's a dog ball outside. And then there's tourist information over there. So we go in there next. Oh, there's a lot of motorhome parking over there. Oh, yeah. Motorhome parking. That's what was on your map. What? On the map. It's like, it's like I know how it works. It's <laughs> a really nice idea. If you want to speak to people, sit on that bench. They're very thoughtful. Yeah, I'd sit there. I like people. <laughs> you talk to everyone. <laughs> We've found what appears to be the Spread Eagle Hotel, the oldest licensed premises in Scotland. A Mary Queen of Scots stayed here. That's quite an accolade. Everything's really well kept, isn't it? Very, yeah, very much so, yeah. Interesting reading? Yeah. So it says, Jed Jedburgh Friary did not survive the Reformation of 1560 and its whereabouts were not confirmed until 1982. No way? Yeah. Really? An archaeologist established its location and began to excavate its remains. Yeah. Wow. I was living in Scotland then. Were you? Yeah. Did you discover it? Is it you? <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. Jedburgh is the place to go for your top Clearly, concerts. Clearly, isn't it? Billy Ocean, Ella Henderson, Wet Wet Wet, Sophie Ellis Baxter, Gabrielle, Pete and Diesel, Scottish folk music. We can see there's some rather ominous dark rain clouds coming in. So we're gonna read quick. Read quick and like <laughs> it back to the van. We did not run fast enough. We're reading about the pears. Popular in London. Till the bottom fell out the fruit market, apparently. We got one fluffy border collie. It's just us on the high street because it's raining. What a swing. It was sunny a minute ago. Ah. Right, come on. Back to the van. Slowly under this little tiny umbrella. We didn't bring the big one or any raincoats because they're really clever. That was fun. Oh. I enjoyed that. Look at my arm. We can see the... Look how wet. We can see the rain coming in, I don't know why we didn't lag it. <laughs> Never mind. Or take our raincoats, or take the big umbrella. Anyway. Lesson learned. 
Really enjoyed Jedburgh. Your thoughts? Yeah, really nice. I think the reason we didn't take any of those things was we just thought we'd be out for a couple of minutes. And we got distracted. In the sunshine. Yeah. There's actually quite a lot more to see. All right. I think uh, we should get inside if you can find the keys. This is awkward. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Right, Mole, you're going to have to go in your bag, I'm afraid, because you are soaking. We made it back just in time. Just in time. Well, well, we got soaked, but Molly's happily asleep down there now in her bag. Oh, and we're drenched. <laughs> <laughs> the camera, camera's in the bag, but the dead cat is soaking. <laughs> Never mind, I'm sure it'll be fine. You can see the rain coming down. So, really enjoyed uh, Jedburgh. Yeah, quick wardrobe change here for some dry, <laughs> some dry clothes. We're still sat in the car park. We're about to leave, but we're just we're just waiting for the rain to stop. We're going to go and check into our campsite now. So we're just uh, we're like twenty minutes away from Melrose. Uh, so one of our viewers and fellow Adventure sixty five uh, owners, um, Elizabeth Chalmers, she has uh, recommended Melrose to us, and we're going to go and visit there for a few nights. I can't wait. Really enjoyed it here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the, the park up last night as well. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was uh, better than I expected. And, and oh, I'm going to say no just because it was your idea. <laughs> um, but have a look at the website. You're going to put the link in it. Yes. Because there's loads, um, we'll put there's it loads the of, of uh, forests um, participating. Um, and it's until the end of October. So, yeah, some yeah. good uh, good opportunities for you to try them out this year. So. They tried it last year as well. It was successful, obviously. But they get an income for basically parking up overnight. So, as long as you take everything with you and don't leave any mess, it was fine. It was really nice. It was really quiet. It was so quiet and silent. It's not like being on a campsite. You've got the, like, sort of noise around you. It's just really nice. Um, so, yeah, it's off this campsite now. And we can't wait. Looking forward to a couple of nights here. Molly's in a bag drying behind us. But just before we move on, I'm going to give a couple of shout outs this week as well to some of our viewers who've been following us for a long time and always leave lovely comments on. So hi to Dawn Evans and a Sun Will Target as well. Hello to both of you. Thank Hello. you for your lovely comments and for following us. It makes us smile when we get nice messages. So yeah. keep, keep them coming. Yeah, it's always nice when um, people take the time to uh, comment um, and even see us, you know, when people say, oh, we saw you or we were part next to you. And you always feel a bit disappointed that they didn't come over and say hi. Come and say hi. Um, we don't buy it, promise. But yeah, I mean, you know, if Most it's not... Most of the time. Molly well, sometimes yeah, bites, but not normally people. Normally. She's usually pretty good. So we're about to set off now. We're heading to the next destination and hopefully you've enjoyed this video as much as we've enjoyed our overnight camping. Not on a campsite. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.